As you can imagine, there is a lot of debris inside and outside of the building behind me where the explosion happened. The FBI says it has already sent evidence back to Virginia to its lab there to be analyzed. The question is, will this lead detectives to the person or the people who are accused of killing this Aliso Viejo esthetician? We do not believe at this time that this was an accident. Hundreds of federal and local investigators are working round the clock to get answers on what caused an explosion that killed the owner of an Aliso Viejo day spa identified by officials as Ildico Krynak. At this point, our working theory is that this explosion was caused by a device, and although the damage was extensive, uh, there are some components that we have located at the scene of the explosion that are inconsistent with what one might expect to find at this business. Part of the investigation is how the device got to the spa. The Postal Service put out a statement that nothing was sent through the U.S. mail. This is a picture taken seconds after the ferocious blast Wednesday afternoon that blew out windows and demolished the first floor of the medical building at 11 Marablu. Cell phone video from a witness shows bystanders huddled around two of the spa's customers who were burned in the explosion. Orange County Under Sheriff Don Barnes says investigators have talked to the women at the hospital where they are undergoing surgery. Officials say evidence into this mysterious crime is being collected in at least two counties. Three search warrants were served earlier this morning, one at the business on Marablu. Uh, one in the city of Long Beach and one in Tribuco Canyon. At this time, there are no arrests. Authorities acknowledge they have no profile of a suspect or suspects. Law enforcement from several agencies are interviewing victims, family, and associates for clues to determine if 40 year old Ildiko Krynak was targeted and what the motive is. Uh, we've collected evidence from multiple locations, uh, we've conducted multiple interviews. Uh, including interviews of the surviving victims. Evidence is being expedited to the FBI laboratory as we speak. The plane is already wheels up. Another question is whether the suspect may have dropped this explosive device off at the building or was it brought here by a delivery service? Officials are not saying, but my sources tell me that this explosive device was inside of a package. Live in Aliso Viejo, back to you.